what's going on YouTube you already know who it is back at it with another video for you guys today so we're gonna check out a video called inside Earth's doomsday seed vault so it says located in the arctic circle the global seed vault isn't simply just a large storage facility for seeds from around the world the vault is protecting the world's agricultural genetic diversity and protecting our future food supply in case of catastrophe so it apparently it's located in a deep well deep inside a mountain i probably wouldn't go over there but we're just gonna see what it looks like we're gonna see what this vault looks like shall we in about a three two Motherboard transmissions. This is a special place. Let's go deeper inside. We have prepared this seed wall. Is this shit underground or no? Five million seed samples. This Arctic seed vault. Long, I don't know Welcome how to say to that. to the global seed vault. This is a facility where we store copies of seeds from gene banks all over the world. Is this somewhere like near Russia or in Russia? I'm just asking because this now accent sounds familiar. Now we are long tunnel which leads into the global seed vault. Deep inside Forgive me if I'm wrong. Mountain, close to the North Pole is a storage facility with the capacity to store over 4 million different crops Damn. and a maximum of 2.5 billion seeds. The Global Seed Vault was created as a backup system for the world's gene banks to protect humanity against any catastrophes that could potentially wipe out our agricultural diversity. We are now quite deep in the mountain. When we pass this door, we are in the permafrost part of the rocks here. Now we are moving from approximately zero degrees into the permafrost section. We have the permafrost here, minus five. In there, it's minus 18. Oh, hell no. And here you can feel the atmosphere. It's silent. You can hear the echo. You it's can see the nice ice. It's a very place to grasp the atmosphere of being in an important place. Some journalists call this the Noah's Ark of plant diversity. And personally, I think that's quite a good name. We call it the world's most important. Room. You ain't got no gloves, so, sir. Let's go in. Oh, Lord. If the humanity can survive, we will need new plant varieties. And the material you need for developing new varieties are genetic diversity. We have seeds from all countries in the world. Wow. Kenya, Mexico, India, Peru, Germany, Colombia, Costa Rica, Zambia, Brazil, Australia. Here we have some nice wooden boxes from Tajikistan. That's a Workers lot of seeds. In gene banks, farmers have struggled to produce all these seeds and sent them here because they feel safe when they send the seeds here. Svalbard is a safe place. It's the permafrost here, so it's frozen even if the artificial cooling fails. And Svalbard is quite far away from conflicts. Here we have boxes from Russia, and here we are, have boxes from Ukraine. And even if there are enemies abroad, outside, in this uh, seed vault, they cooperate. And here is some wooden boxes made in North Korea. So even North Korea has sent seeds here, and in the seed vault here, international conflicts are cooled down. You see this empty space in this shelf? We had seed boxes from Icardas Gin Bank in Aleppo. They sent seeds here from 2008, and when the Gin Bank in Aleppo was ruined, we were able to send the seeds back so they can start creating a new gin bank. This system saved the seeds. If they had no backup here, the seeds would have gone extinct. This is the world's largest collection of genetic diversity of crops. What you see in here is 13,000 years of agricultural history. The genes you find in here existed in the natural flora in the Middle East 10, 15,000 years ago. And then farmers started to use these plants and they improved the plants into the crops that we have today. There is in the seed vault about 70,000 different varieties of barley and 150,000 samples of rice wow. and 140,000 samples of wheat. 
researchers uh, investigate what are the properties they find in these old uh, varieties. And they use the genes for making new varieties, for new purposes, for new growing conditions. Without this material, plant breeders, agriculture will never manage to feed the growing population. Yeah, because there's a lot of this people on this planet. For the future, that breeders need to make new varieties to increase the world's food production. The work gene banks do every day, conserving their seeds, preparing the genes for future food supplies, is a very, very crucial and important work. I have quite good feeling when I'm in here and know that this is a resource that uh, the future will need. Seed goes extinct every day. And personally, it's a big motivation to think about all the work that has been done to bring the seeds here. And it feels very good to be a part of this global effort for future food supplies and conserve them in a safe place. Wow. Oh. The video says the most sustainable way to die, water crem cremation. I might watch that for y'all. Um, uh, it's just amazing how, um, you know, we need so many things to like survive and to live and things, and just how like different forms of life were created, and how we need a lot of that stuff. Like with you know bees and how they, you know, pollinate shit. You know, we need that because I mean I couldn't imagine you know, bees would not be here and Lord knows what would happen after that. Like no bee pollination, no honey, no hive. So let the bees be y'all. Don't kill them, okay? Leave them alone, all right? It's different if they chasing you. Just don't, don't mess with them, leave them alone. Let them continue to pollinate and marinate and uh, what's the word, produce, reproduce. Okay, because there are a lot of things that we need as humans. Because I mean, you know, you all, you, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard the topic of depopulation. That's for another video. And all this other shit going on in the world right now. It's only January 5th. I hope it gets better. That's all I can really say. Um, but I, I missed you guys, you know. It's just, it's just really been sluggish for me these couple of weeks, you know. Um... It just, it's just been a drag. It's just been so much going on. Time has been going so fast. And, you know, yeah. But I, I still thank you guys, whoever still, you know, hangs on and watches my videos, you know, I'm still here. And uh, actually Friday, I was thinking about going live. I was gonna go live for New Year's, but um, I was spending time with family. So you know how that goes. I'm sure you all understand that. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna have a discussion because now that I have a membership thing open up uh, for you guys, it's three tiers, as I said before. Um, I just want to have like a conversation with you guys live. So, you know, you guys can get on with me, you know, ask me some questions. And I'm going to ask, you know, like what kind of videos do you guys want me to check out more? Because I do want to get into other videos to react to. Like, you know, try not to laugh. Hell, try not to cry, try not to cringe, try not to get pissed the fuck off. Um, videos like these, you know, these, I like uh, videos like these, they're pretty interesting. So, um, it's, this is from Vice Impact, uh, to be exact. This this came out uh, in November, 2020. So, yeah, I just might check out that other video, uh, Sustainable Way, The Most Sustainable Way to Die, Water Cremation. Um, so yeah, we might I might check that out tomorrow for you guys. Tomorrow's hump day, see what I mean? Tomorrow's Wednesday already. Like time is just really going fast. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm scared to be honest. I don't know what the hell going on. But um, yeah, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, comment below your thoughts on uh, videos like these. If you want me to check out some more, which I would like to do, let me know in the comment section. Send me some more requests as such, as well as anything else. Hit that subscribe button, follow me on my Instagram, hit that notification bell so you guys can know when I have a video up and loaded. And uh, once again, like, thank you all for watching and just staying, staying in tune with me. You know, I appreciate it. Whoever's still here, rocking with my videos, subscribing, all of that. Um, if you want to become a member, I'd appreciate it. You know, get some exclusive content going on. That's why I'll be going live Friday for sure. Friday for sure. Um, so we can just have a little chit chat 
and we could discuss some videos, some different type of videos that I could react to for you all. I would love to do that. Switch it on up, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the Madness Combat videos is cool and all, but you know, I want to do some other shit, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but once again, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. It's Taylor Rain. I'm out.